So you're thinking to put your home on the market or you also just bought a home that maybe needs some upkeeping and some personalization. What are the things that you should do if you're going to list or maybe if you want to put money into your home that you're going to get back when you go to sell it? Let's talk about some of the simple things first of all. So you want to update your home. You want a fairly reasonable, big impact thing to do to your home, paint. Painting your walls and maybe even like your windows or your, your um, molding. Painting those things is really going to give your, face, your home a facelift. And so if you want to live there, you can pick out the colors that you like. Um, that'll just feel like more home, be refreshed. If you're thinking of selling, <laughs> right now, you know, the colors are always changing. And so talk to your agent, talk to your stagers. Uh, one of my clients used to call it gonna sell it gray. He like painted everything in the house gray. It was like gonna sell it gray. Um, but pick a color that is like a neutral color. That's kind of the color of the moment. Um, like in 2022, it's kind of a, a gray, maybe a little bit neutral with a little bit warmer color. Um, but pick the color that if you're going to sell it, when somebody walks in that it's like seems fresh, clean, that they can imagine their self in that home, that it's like kind of almost like a blank canvas to them. Uh, like I know some people think like, why sell it? They can come in and paint their own colors. But the thing is like when they come in, it's kind of a detriment, like, oh, I have to paint. Whereas if it's a neutral color, even though it's not their favorite neutral color, they don't have to do it right away. They can imagine their home around there. So it really is worth painting. You know, you might love that purple bedroom, but it's really worth painting. You might love like the gold dining room because for whatever reason, still it's worth painting and don't go on with the thought process. Oh, they'll take care of it. Of course they will, but you're going to get less for their home because they have to paint it. Lighting is another good place to start. Uh, there's some really reasonable price lighting options and it really changes the look of your home. Uh, think about if you've gone through homes and they kind of had like the 1960s fan lights, you know what I mean? Um, and you, and they go in and they change just a few lights and it changes completely the look because it changes like the glow in the room, depending on the type of look, lights. Um, it changes like, if it was a, like, let's say a 1960s fan light and you put something fresh in from 2022 or whatever time you watch this video, it really gives a fresh look and it doesn't take, you know, you think about how many rooms you'd maybe do it kitchen, family, dining, bedrooms. There's not really that many. And the other thing is with the lighting, you can give a really cohesive look to the home. So we don't want them all to be the same, but you can pick up lighting. Well, you kind of have them all the same if you find some that you love. But really, if you pick out a few different lightings, you're going to get some cohesive looks that are really going to change the look of your home. It's not as many high dollar spending to get a change, to either get higher dollar on your value, high, to get higher value when you sell your home, or to make a bigger impact to make it your own. So you're thinking of selling or you bought a new home. The next thing that you can do is curb appeal. And you might not think it matters to you because you're mostly inside your house. But the fact is like when you drive up and if you've trimmed the bushes and if you maybe did some painting around the doors or added some flowers, did a little landscaping, you really feel good about your house. So even in your, if it's your new home that you just bought in, uh, let's say it's spring, summer, fall, winter here in Wisconsin, not winter. I shouldn't have said that. Um, spring, summer, fall, get out there and do some curb appeal. It has almost an immediate effect of like when you pull up to your home, that feeling. And if you imagine if you're, um, selling your home first impressions, right? We all know first impressions go so far. And the first impression in your house is not when they open the door. The first impression is when they drive up and what they see when they're on the outside. So we really recommend like if you're getting your home ready for sale, curb appeal, but also that's not, you know, it doesn't have to be high dollars for you to get your money back out of it. How about new flooring? Um, especially like, let's imagine you go and there's like old linoleum or there's like dented up tile. This is going to cost you a little bit more than a, you know, coat of paint throughout the house, but it's going to have a big impact. Um, it really like sets the tone for your home, right? Like where people walk in, it's grounding your home. Um, if it's your home that you just bought also, if you put new flooring in, it just, it really has a feel of like a new home. And so, you know, there's different options. You can go from lower end new floor to, you know, all the way up to high end floor. But the fact is whatever, you know, whatever price range your home is in, that's maybe the equivalent. I wouldn't be in a luxury home, uh, a luxury home price list. And then think about like putting, you know, the gray plank linoleum all through the house that you're not going to get your money. So if you're selling your home, really do a flooring that's kind of 
com or reflects where you live, that kind of neighborhood. If you're selling it for your upgrading for yourself, you might even want to go above, you know, the neighborhood you're in. Like if you really love this beautiful like wood floor, that's whatever style and it's really expensive, but you're going to live there for five or 10 years, maybe 10, go ahead and do it because it's your home. It's that peace you'll have when you'll come into your home. It's going to ground your home. So flooring is another thing you can do uh, that you're going to get your money back on your ROI, your return on investment, either if you live there or if you're trying to sell it right now. Uh, another thing is new windows. It's a pricier item for sure. But if you have new windows in a home, I know when I take buyers through, we always are kind of looking at the windows like what condition? Because if it's, you know, they're thinking, oh, do I have to lay out that money to put new windows in the home? Um, and if they don't have to put that money, you know, lay out money to put into the windows it kind of just like another thing for them to take away and just like embrace your home so new windows is really another thing that you can either you know put in for your own improvement and your return on investment when you go to sell or if you're selling now and then like the next year or so and you want to get maximum value and your windows are like eh, maybe consider putting new windows in do kitchens and baths of course kitchens and bath you're going to get your roi on return on investment you're going to get that back whatever you put in there as long as you don't again go like crazy and build like the Taj Mahal of kitchens and you're not in the Taj Mahal of kitchens neighborhood. Um, so if you're trying to get your return on investment, again, when you're doing your upgrades to your kitchens or your bath, do it kind of commemorative. I don't think that's the right word. Do it reflective of the neighborhood you're in. <laughs> commemorative. Do it reflective of the neighborhood you're in. Um, Except for the one time I don't always say that it's like it's gonna if it's your 15, 10, 15, 20 year home and you want like the best bathroom, do it because the ROI, the return on investment, you know, over 10, 15, 20 years, let's say you went 10,000 more than you maybe should have on your bathroom. That's like a thousand dollars a year, three dollars a day if you keep the home for 10 more years. So but in general, if you put kitchen money into your kitchen and your bath, you're going to get it back. Just be reflective of the neighborhood that you live in. Unless it's your dream home, you're there forever. Spend whatever you like. Another great one is, seems strange, but like garage door. That kind of goes into our um, curb appeal. But you know, if you're looking at a home and you go to press the garage door, it's like, tunk, 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 stops, doesn't work. That's kind of a thing that's like, I think also what it's the thing that makes people think if the garage door isn't working, they think, do they take good care of their house? You know, it's kind of one of those things like, I mean, like if they don't care about their garage door not working, they're going in and out every day. And there's probably things I don't see that aren't working. So it's really another good thing to get return on investment, make your life easier if you just bought the home. Uh, so those are just kind of a couple things. Uh, like if you're looking to put money in because you want to sell or you want to keep your home, you just bought it, but you want to get return on investment. You want to do updates that are worthwhile. Those are some of the best ones to do. Don't forget to go subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our great content.